Have you read a description of a home in Florida and wondered what half of the words meant, like lanai and villa and maintenance-free? If so, then stay tuned because that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Courtney Chankis with Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. If you're moving to the area from out of state, there may be some real estate or home related terms that you're very unfamiliar with, and sometimes it could sound like a foreign language. Our goal today is to decode some of those terms and help you have a better understanding of what they mean in the context of Florida real estate and buying a home in this area. So today we're going to explain the most commonly used terms and give you some specific examples of what that might look like in Lakewood Ranch. Let's get started. First of all, the types of homes that you see online or descriptions of online might be different than what you're used to from another area. For example, a villa in this area of Florida typically means a single family one story home. Usually it has a narrower layout so it's a little bit longer there might be a side entry to the home, and sometimes these are detached, so they're freestanding. Other times they're paired with another home or two. If it's a paired or a quad villa, then they'll share either one wall down the center or you know two walls depending on where it's located. And there might be end units that have more windows on the side versus the interior units that will just have windows in the back. In many communities here, villas are treated as traditional single family homes, which means you would have the option of adding a small pool on the back, extending your patio area and screened in enclosure, and being able to enjoy the Florida lifestyle inside and outside. So just to recap, a villa is a longer, usually narrower, single story, single family home. Sometimes it stands alone, sometimes it's attached to one other villa or two. And I'm gonna share some pictures of what those look like in communities here. We initially moved from Connecticut and doing real estate up north is very different because basically anything that's not a single family home is referred to as a condo. <laughs> but here, that's very different. A condo is actually in a high rise or multi-level building and it's you know one unit within that building. So it's a single family unit of a few bedrooms and a bathroom. You usually do have your own balcony off the back but it's within this larger kind of apartment style complex. Sometimes with condos, there is a detached or attached garage or a carport, so it depends on the unit. You might have some storage space. So they all vary a little bit, but you'll see that typically where they are is a similar type of building. This differs from a townhouse, which is a multi-level home. <laughs> the garage is usually on the first floor, and then there'll be a living space on the second floor where your kitchen and living room is, and then the bedrooms might be on the third floor if it's a three-story or two-story townhome. And these are generally connected in a row, so if you're from you know, Philadelphia or Boston, you kind of are familiar with row houses. It's that type of building that we call them townhomes, and only certain communities here build them. So Woodleaf Hammock is a big one, Mallory Park has townhomes, and here are some examples of what those look like. In this area, Lakewood Ranch specifically, apartments are just rental units. Um, they have their own amenities, their own rules and regulations. Usually they're kind of a high rise building, you know, three or four floors. Um, we have some beautiful apartment complexes in Lakewood Ranch. And then the last option would be single family homes, which I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. So now that you know more about the types of homes, let's discuss some of the features of those homes that might be unique to Florida versus other areas. My personal favorite one is the lanai. This is a Hawaiian term that generally means a veranda connected to the main house with a roof, but the tops and sides are open. And we like to use it in Florida because lanais were meant to enjoy nature and kind of be outside, but have that indoor outdoor living and that works perfectly in a tropical environment like this. So typically if you're looking at a new home in Lakewood Ranch that you're going to build or even buy, 
there will be a section of the home that's connected to the roof and it's a covered lanai so it's part of the structure of the home and then it'll be screened in and probably have a door that's the lanai by definition if you're planning on adding a pool to your home then your lanai will become extended because you're going to push out your living space outside even further have the pool some additional decking maybe some lounge chairs and then cover all of that with a screen enclosure or a cage i talked a little bit about screen enclosures and cages in our pool video uh, basically they help keep any critters out that you don't want they help you know prevent a lot of bugs from getting in and also it's just a nice way to enjoy the outside without having to battle any of the elements so if you're sitting under your lanai while it's raining you know the screen's going to prevent some of the water from getting in it just makes it easier to enjoy the space year-round. Another term you might see in regards to homes in the area is hurricane impact glass. It seems pretty self-explanatory, uh, but one thing you should know is that builders a lot of the time include hurricane impact glass on all of your front windows and doors, so the front facing of the home, and then the windows and sliders in the back may not be. If it's an option to upgrade, I highly recommend it. If you don't have hurricane impact glass or doors, then you will get hurricane shutters and then you're responsible for putting those up should a hurricane ever become close enough or strong enough that you need to. So having the option to upgrade and just have hurricane impact glass everywhere makes your life easier and more worry free. Another tricky term that kind of has a dual meaning is elevation. Now obviously elevation traditionally means the height above sea level uh, here in the context of new construction. Elevation means what the exterior of the home looks like, or the front facade, if you will. So builders will offer different elevations, and that way if they have to put two homes next to each other in the same neighborhood, they can have a little bit different of an exterior look. And generally there's a price differential between each elevation, so depending on which one you choose, that might be an additional cost in the end. And lastly, maintenance free. It's kind of a weird term because it's not free. <laughs> so generally an HOA, if it's a maintenance free community, will handle all of the landscaping, mowing, trimming, mulching, fertilizing, weeding, things like that, all of your lawn maintenance. Um, it's called maintenance free because you are not the one doing the maintenance. However, your HOA fees pay for that maintenance. So. Uh, <laughs> I guess maintenance included might be a better way to explain that, but it sounds more fun to say maintenance free. So that's a little explanation of how that works. If a community is not designated as maintenance free, then that means you would be required to do your own yard work, or you could always hire a landscaping company. A lot of times in neighborhoods that don't have maintenance included in their HOA, the neighbors will get together and find a great company that they can hire to you know, do the whole street in one day. And that saves time and money and you don't have to hear lawn mowers every day. The last thing I want to talk about is how pricing works when it comes to new construction in the Lakewood Ranch area. There's a lot of terms that get thrown around when you're kind of trying to figure out the price of the home and what's included and what's not included. So I just want to break that down a little bit. First of all, you will see floor plans online that sometimes designate AC square feet versus total living area. So just to give you an idea of what that means, the lanai, as I mentioned before, is a part of your living space in Florida because you can use it almost year round. However, it's not technically included in the square feet because it's not air conditioned. So in the Northern states, I know we used to call it heated square feet because if it wasn't heated, it couldn't be considered living space because in the winters it gets cold. Kind of the opposite here so if it's called ac square feet that means that it is air conditioned it's livable you can use it you know as a living space and that's the square footage you really want to look at that's going to be the actual home itself not including any garages or outside areas once you decide the floor plan that you like you're going to see a base price and this is often misleading so the base price of the home imagine if you were to build the home floating in the air with just the very basic choices that the builder provides you. So their standard tile, their standard cabinet, the bare minimum, that is the base price of the home. So if the base price is, let's say 350, 350,000, that's your starting point. 
Now you have to take that home and put it on land somewhere. And that's where your lot premium comes in. The lot premium is the cost of the land that you choose to build the home on. If you want a beautiful long water view, your lot premium is going to be higher than a lot that backs up to another house or has a preserve view or maybe backs up to a road. So you would add your lot premium to the base price of your home and that's what you have for just the house. Okay. Next step are the design options. You need to add interior finishes to the home to make it look the way you want. And these can get kind of expensive depending on how custom you choose to get. Some builders, such as Lennar, offer limited interior options and that keeps your price very manageable and makes your choices easier. There are also other builders that are extremely custom, so you get to choose everything from the hardware on your cabinets to the light fixture that goes in your bathroom if you want, and those are going to have additional costs with each you know, outlet that goes in the wall and things like that. So be aware that the design options could potentially cost 15 to 18% of your base price, and that's just kind of an average for everybody. So if your home is $500,000, you would assume that your design options might cost at least $50,000 on top of that. So now you have your base price of the home, your lot premium, and your estimated design option. That should give you a much better idea of the full price, except for the pool. Most prices listed on any builder's website are not going to include a pool. If the home is an inventory home that's listed for sale, it should specify if there's a pool included in that price. And again, that varies depending on the builder. I know there are certain builders that will make a beautiful inventory home and not include a pool. And then there's other builders that include the pool as part of it and you, you know, can't believe the price includes the pool. So just depends on what you're looking for and what type of build you want. So keep in mind when you're looking at these sites online or you're looking at the pricing, the prices listed are just the base price. So add at least another $70,000 to that price, let's say, just to be safe for the lot premium and any design options. And that should give you a better estimate of what the cost might be. I hope that was helpful in learning some more information about the terms that we use in real estate and new construction in the Lakewood Ranch area and in a lot of parts of Florida overall. If you have additional questions on anything that you see on builder websites or Lakewood Ranch websites or our website, if you have any questions about building a home in the area, please reach out. We love working with buyers. We'd love to help you understand more about Lakewood Ranch. We live here, we work here, and we love it here. So. We love sharing all of that with you. Again, I'm Courtney Chankis with Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you soon.